Captain's Log. I believe it is the 27th. We've entered the vicinity of a strange, enormous planet, brimming with light and no visible surface to speak of. I've halted our course for the time being as I discuss with the crew what is to be done. End recording. All right, Mr. Spock, what do you make of this bizarre planet? It's a sun, Captain. An enormous ball of incredibly hot gas. I suggest we move as far away from it as we possibly can, and soon. Let's not be so brash, Mr. Spock. I would first like to know a bit more about why we have yet to have seen such a strange planet on our voyage thus far. We've seen many planets like this one, Captain. Perhaps more commonly than any other. We've just never been this physically close, or this far into the gravity well of one. Really? Yes. It's really just a star, Captain. How peculiar. Why would this star be so enormous and every other star so small? And for that matter, I was under the impression that Earth was the only planet with a sun. Are you serious, Captain? Mr. Spock, I've never been more serious. Lieutenant Sulu... I would like us to begin our approach so that we might explore this planet on foot. That would be inadvisable, Captain. And why is that? Most materials are not robust enough to resist the heat and gravity of the surface of a sun without instantly being evaporated, including our ship and crew. Hmm. Mr. Spock, our mission is to boldly go where no man has gone before. I would find this much more foolish than bold, Captain. Hmm. I can't seem to think of a reason why this would exist, Spock. Perhaps you could come up with a logical explanation. Easily, Captain. It serves to provide light and heat for all of its system, identical to the use of our own sun on Earth. It projects rays that carry heat and light everywhere. How strange. Everywhere? Yes. Getting too close to this nigh-infinite source of heat and light is highly dangerous to most physical things. Mr. Sulu, bring our engines up to light speed so that these harmful rays cannot catch us on our approach. Illogical, Captain. I would like to strongly emphasize my advisement against this again. I would prefer an explanation first, as you are our science officer. We would need to be going the other way to escape its rays, Captain. Flying straight toward anything at relativistic speeds is rather lethal upon collision, especially if that object is matching your speed. Besides, the rays of the sun are not what we wish to avoid, but the white-hot plasma that is emitting it. Charging at light speed into a sun is completely suicidal. Go on. A simple analogy might be an Earth car driving straight into the pit of an active volcano, our actual situation being several thousand times more volatile and dangerous. Interesting. Do you concur with this, Bones? Crashing into a sun being lethal? Yes. I see. Uhura, I would like you instead to prepare a message to be sent to the surface that reads... Dear Sun People, I honestly think we're completely wasting our time, Jim. We should move on. Oh, very well. Mr. Sulu, pick a random direction and go full speed. There's certainly other mysteries out there to unravel. I think this one should simply remain an enigma, given the circumstances. Ever the wise decision-maker, Captain. To the Naked Boy Quadrant. <laughs> <laughs>